G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Now today I'm going to be running through uh, a follow-up video to my install flat pack on Peppermint 9. So um, what we will do is just have a look at my website because um, snaps and flat packs are moving so fast things change and I'm sort of um, I thought I knew where I was at with flat pack but uh, with the gnome software here um, let's just go to YouTube first with the gnome software in peppermint 9 um, it has already sort of flat pack support there was only a certain bit that we had to add um, so, yep, I've got it wrong on this occasion and not afraid to say so because um, as long as we can admit we've done wrong, um, we all learn in life by doing things wrong and uh, I've learned something from here so I need to be a bit more aware about uh, the flat pack scenario. So, um, so let's just have a quick look at the comment because the Peppermint team have commented on my video here. So is it necessary or, or advisable to add this PPA flat pack? Um, GNOME software plugin flat pack are pre-installed out of the box in Pepper 9. All you really need to do is add the flat hub remote if you want it. So that's absolutely right. And I did notice that uh, the GNOME software plugin flat pack was already installed. So um, so we'll have a quick look at the uh, flat flat uh, flat hub site or flat pack and we'll just do a search for flat pack org and I'll probably link uh, put a link in the other video to this one if I can work out how to do that so what I've done is I've added this PPA now I thought that was just the standard way you add flat packs but uh, obviously not probably if you don't have the plugin then you would have to add the PPA so um, I just on, on some occasions just go through this procedure uh, it's a quick setup and that's what it's called the Ubuntu quick setup but um, yep the the Peppermint team had already done most of the work for you they've done the groundwork so all we needed to do was add this flat pack here um, the, the remote flat pack remote so uh, I'm pretty sure I'm reading that right so all you really need to do is add the flat hub remote so my apologies to the peppermint team for doing that so what we need to do on this occasion is um, if you've installed the PPA not a problem I'm going to just uninstall my PPA uh, repositories other software now let's have a look oh this one here flat pack so what we can do there is uh, remove that and as you can see it's gone and we close that and it'll ask you to reload so I've removed that PPA so what we can do now is I'm going to just restart the system just to be sure that's all good um, and then um, we'll come back in and just make sure flat packs are still working which I'm sure they will be okay so we are back into the desktop and I've um, checked my synaptic package manager well actually let's just restart that and double check synaptic um, I just like to restart just to be sure that uh, all the PPAs and that have been reset so repositories other software there is no PPA for that and and the one we're looking for is this PPA Alex Larson so it's not there it's gone uh, so I can close that and um, so we don't need to do all of this here the GNOME software plugin flat pack was already there anyway and that was um, when I did the original install of flat pack support that showed that it was already installed anyway so so all we need to do is add the flat pack 
remote which is this one here and copy and paste that into your terminal and the, that's it it'll um, it, it's recognized that it's already there so my apologies if uh, anyone's added the PPA it's not a huge problem at all but uh, you can easily uh, remove it like I showed um, and now what we'll do is we'll just double check the software center gnome gnome software center uh, we'll do a search for telegram and I think it was this bottom one here that's from FlatHub yep so FlatHub is working and we'll also do a, a search for GIMP and yep there's the flat hub for GIMP as well so that's all working so yep there is no need to add the PPA in there it was already all the legwork was done by the peppermint team so thanks peppermint team for bringing that up to me um, I've just learned something about that so I need to be a bit more aware I think it's probably the GNOME GNOME software center that has all the plugins and stuff so maybe um, in the future I may just go for these two here and maybe just this one and if that doesn't work then I may have to start from the top so um, so that's that so I hope uh, everybody uh, enjoys uh, that little update there and my apologies if you've uh, if I've led you astray a bit but uh, it's just a PPA it's easily removed so it's not a problem I just thought I would uh, correct my first video and uh, we're all learning together in Linux and, and I'm happy to learn. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the little fix for it. So, so I hope you enjoyed this little update video and thanks for watching.